So a nice way to transition from working on the back that you've just completed to working on the posterior leg, you have a couple of choices. You can use a technique called rocking, which just moves the body back and forth in a rhythmic manner. It's a nice way to mobilize the hips, mobilize the spine a little bit, and it's a nice way to transition down to the legs. Your other option would be, after redraping the back, to just come down and do some nice compressions into the posterior leg as well. You can have a loose fist in the glutes and a loose fist in the thigh. And as you compress, one thing to remember is to have good body mechanics. So a nice lunge, your weight is on your back leg. Remember to keep your head high and straight in line with your spine. And move those tools, move that loose fist to different parts as you're compressing. It's always good to check on your pressure with your client as well. Dawn, is that pressure okay? Yes. So after I've done a few compressions in the glute muscles and in the hamstrings, I can come down and open to an uh, open palm and do some compressions right into the gastroc muscles or the calf muscles. Again, straight arms are what's needed here. You never want to lean forward and bend your arms because you'll work with too much upper body strength. It's about keeping your arms straight and just having your weight on your back foot. One way to know that you are doing this properly is to just for a moment lift your front foot off of the ground and you should have some nice balance. All your weight is from your back leg straight into the client. So I'm going to make my way back up into the glutes and into the hamstrings so that I can undrape the client and start doing some work with effleurage and petrissage. So to undrape the posterior leg, I'm going to tuck the top sheet in under the client's waist. You don't want to tuck it in under the hip. It'll be too difficult to undrape the leg. You want to tuck it under the waist. With your hands pointing up, scoop the sheet up and simply set it down between the client's legs. You'll want to see the back of the knee and the edge of the sheet because that's what you will be grabbing momentarily to bring the sheet under and up. You'll bend the client's knee, lift with your legs and turn and face their head. Anytime you lift the leg for posterior draping, you want to face the client's head. So my inside hand came under the knee, and I'm going to lift the leg up. Again, don't ever lift the leg too high. You only need to lift it up enough to bring the sheet under their thigh. So reach under with your outside hand, bring the sheet under, and then all the way up to the hip. Set the leg back down. Now, we need to get this portion of the posterior leg undraped as well, including the glutes. So I'm going to simply come to the head of the table, take my tuck out. When you roll sheets, it's uh, important to always roll sheets under, never over. So I'm going to roll the sheets and give a nice tuck under the client's waist. So I have all of this work, uh, all of this room to work. I'm going to start with some dry work. Never put lotion on right away. It's good to do a little bit of work into the skin and to the fascia. So I'm going to cross my hands in this fashion and place them on my client's thigh. And I'm going to compress down into the tissue. And I'm going to slowly let my hands just open out and in. One goes out, one goes in. I'm just starting to gently warm the tissue up. And again, I'm leaning into the client. I'm not using any upper body strength. All my weight is in my back leg as I just lean and push into the client. Fascia work should be done very slowly. You have to be patient with it. Don't ever rush it. Just lean in and let your hands slowly open out to spread that tissue open. I'll come down to the calf muscle and put my hands together in this fashion. Wrap my hands around the calf, push down, and simply let my 
palms spread the tissue open now. One principle that you need to remember to work with when you work on the legs is proximal distal proximal. You need to work on the thigh first, knee to hip, then work on the lower leg, and then flush the entire extremity out, proximal, distal, proximal. So I've warmed the leg pretty well with some uh, introductory fascial work, so I'm going to add my lotion. Add a little bit of lotion in your palm. It's always good to warm the lotion up before you apply it to the client. And I'm going to apply it to the entire leg. I'm not going to apply it to the foot as of right now. I'll work on the foot separately. Once I have my lotion on, I need to start to warm the tissue, a little bit of deeper warming. So effleurage is our tool to do that. So I'm going to start with just open palms. I'll put my palms right above the back of the knee. Again, my weight is on my back leg, my arms are straight, and I'm going to simply lean into the client and push on my back leg. And as I push on my back leg, I'm going to sink for a moment into my front leg, push back on my front leg to return to my starting position. Push up, weights on my back leg, off to the side slightly or off laterally, come back. It's important not to twist your body, don't twist your torso here. And each time you want to get just a little bit deeper into the tissue. I'm going to change now to a loose fist effleurage. This is a little bit of a deeper tool, a little bit more specific, and it will allow me to start getting a little bit deeper into the tissue. Dawn, is my pressure okay? Yes. Okay. Again, it's good to to check in with your pressure every once in a while, just to make sure it's within the client's comfort level. And it again is about weight on the back leg, sinking into your front leg for a moment, and coming back. You cannot lean on the table. If you lean on the table, it will end up being, you will use your upper body too much and you'll end up leaning from your waist like this if the lower body is not moving. So it's good not to lean on the table. I want to come in with forearm effleurage now. So I'm going to just put a little bit of lotion on my forearms. I need to deepen my lunge. You'll notice I took a step back so that I can get very low uh, to the table. I'm going to put my inside forearm. My elbow will be between the client's thighs. I can reinforce with my other hand and I'll simply lean in and push up across the thigh and stroke back with my open hand. Push up with my forearm, over and back. I'm focusing on the medial thigh at this moment. Push up, weights on that back leg, sink into the front leg for a moment, and return. Now I'm going to change to my outside forearm to get more of the lateral side of the thigh. And I'll push up, simply slide to the side, let your hand come back. One other thing to remember here with forearm work is to keep your wrist and your hand relaxed. If there's a lot of tension in your hand, your client will feel that. So I want to keep my wrist nice and relaxed as I push up, come off to the side. You can slow your tempo down and it will engage the tissue even further. 